Hello everyone, today we are going to explain how to configure BGP in IP version 6 installed router. BGP is two types, one is IBGP, another is EBGP. Our project today how to configure IBGP. Before that, let's know what is the IBGP and what is the EBGP. IBGP we configure when the S number is same for all, right? Only one S number. For EBGP, if you have a different S number, then you need to communicate with different S. In that case, you need to configure EBGP. Today, our S number is one, uh, only one S. So we will configure IBGP. For this project, we need to complete several steps. Like we have a two routers, we have a two new router, there is no configuration. We need to change identity, right? Then we need to configure IP, we need to configure instance, we need to configure PR, network. Finally, we will check output. We have a two router, there is no configuration, we are going to start our project. Okay, let's start. So, I am trying to log in on router, yes, successfully logged in. Then, go to system to identity for change the identity of the router, done. Then, we need to configure, we are thinking this is our R1 router, right? We need to configure IP to address. Uh, 2.2341 double colon 1 slash 64 the interface is ethernet 1 ok then click plus 2.001 colon colon 1 slash 64 interface is ethernet 2 ok done IP configuration done, then you need to go routing, then you need to go routing to BGP. And there is a instance, the instance will be 1. And the router ID 1.1.1. .1 Apply. Okay, very good. If we check our steps, so identity configuration done, IP configuration done, instance done, uh, BGP PR configure. Okay, so you should go to the PR, click plus. PR R1 to R2, right? Then remote address. Remote address is 200, right? 2001 double colon 2, right? Very good. And the remote S also same because we have only one S. So apply. Before apply, you should go to the advanced and there is a IP version 6. IP version 6, you need to select IP version 6 families, then apply, ok. Finally, you need to configure network, your LAN, assign your LAN to triple one double colon zero slash 64, right, yes. Now, R1 router configuration is done. Let's go to the R2 router. Yes, we will configure this router as R2. System to identity. The router will be R2. Okay. Then IP configuration, IP version 6 to address, click plus. Then 3, 4, two, uh, four uh, 2222 two, two, double colon 1 slash 64 the interface will be Ethernet 1 ok then click plus 2001 double colon 2 
slash six four the interface will be that too IP configuration is done then go to the routing BGP instance the S will be same one the router ID we can give the router ID 2.2.2 .2 apply ok then you need to configure PR click plus it will be R2 to R1 remote address to double zero one double colon one remote s one advance IP version six families apply ok network click plus then assign the LAN block zero slash six four apply okay now let's see what's happened let's check the output this is r2 right and now check the r1 we can keep side by side If you go to the routing BGP PR, yes, it seems established, right? Very good. R2 router seems okay. And let's see here. PR, yes, it's also established. Very good. So our PR is done. Now we can check our ping. this side land block is 2.2.2 .2 and this side land block is 2.1.1.1 okay so let's ping this ip from this router and this router ip ping from this router ping default to double colon one yes reachable right very good you can ping this IP from this router on 9 to ping uh, or 2 3 4 1 double clone ones very good so our BGB configuration is successfully done thank you for watching